Coach Dolph. First off, welcome back to Ohio, man. Thank you. It's it was you. you've had you were at Michigan, now you're you were at Penn, now we got you back in Ohio. Right where this is where you're from. Yeah, yeah, I'm from North Kent, now went to Hoover. Uh, you know, I wanted to, my wife's from Hoover as well, so we wanted to come back and be with our family and, and uh, let our son AJ, he's eleven now, be, you know, in Ohio where, where our roots are and so everybody's happy with him. He wrestled in the OAC last year and actually placed. What do you think of this? First off, the OAC, it's, yeah. it's, it's the class of organizations in the state of Ohio. I mean, there's no question. This is the best state tournament, right? I agree. I agree. He wrestled in New Jersey State Tournament and got fifth the previous year. And last year, we moved home and uh, midway through the year, and he started wrestling in Ohio and ended up eighth in, in the OAC in Youngstown last year at 85 Division Three. Have you seen like you know you've seen other organizations, but you look at the state organization in Jersey. How do you compare it to OAC? You know it's it's similar, and, and they they hold their state tournament in Trenton, which is the capital, and it's a nice facility. Um, and there's some really tough kids, but but the depth in Ohio compared to New Jersey is is um, a lot deeper. It's, it doesn't compare as much, but there's some there's some tough kids in Jersey. That's for sure. You know, it's like right now there's your Regan going on. You wrestled overseas a little bit, right? You've been all around the world. You've wrestled on most of the continents. It's pretty incredible to think that now you're you're back to youth wrestling. What's that like, man? You've you've coached and wrestled literally at every level. Yeah. What's it like to be back down to youth level? And your and your kids, your your, your kids. Yeah. You coach your kid. What's yeah, that he's like? He's 11. Um, I'm running a club with Dave Riggs, the Riggs Elite Wrestling Club. We're running out of Madison, Ohio. Uh, there's a there's a supporter from Nebraska that. that Helps us out financially, gave us a room, and um, Jim Owens, I think is his name, and, and uh, he's just a super guy, he loves the kids, and uh, this is an opportunity to, to get some of the best area kids together to train, and we literally run our workouts like college practices. Um, you know, Dave and I coach together at Perry, Massive Perry. Um, you know, I've, I've coached national champions at the college level, Olympic champion in Brandon Slay. Um, I've coached high school state champions who went on to win nationals. And, and being at the youth level is special, not only because my son's in it, but I really like to mold the society and the kids today and be a good influence on them. I've come a long way and I had people help me get to where I am, and so I want to give back to them. You know, you were training partners with Dave Schultz. Think about your two training, your two main training partners, Dave Schultz and Brandon Slay. It's not bad. It's not bad. What do you think? You know, and you were, you were kind of Dave was what you were to. You know, he was your mentor, and you were Brandon's mentor, right? What's it like to be able to take from both those guys, two brilliant guys, and be able to impart the, the, the wisdom and things you trained with, and yeah. you're friends with those guys. Yeah, you know? they're they're great. You know, and, and Dave Schultz, God rest his soul. You know, he taught me a lot of discipline, a lot of a lot of. He was a student of sports. So he taught me how to analyze the technique and the different training tactics. And, um, and, and, and I was able to work together with Brandon Slate and Dave. And we all kind of gelled our minds together a lot. And um, you know, I take that to the kids today and, and teach them more about life, you know, than, than wrestling. And it all, it all kind of works together. So it's, it's, it's a great, I'm, I'm blessed to have had that opportunity and, and now I'm blessed to be able to give it back. Better guy to go into a club with than Dave Riggs. I, I can't think of a better guy. I mean, that guy's a forward thinker. He's outside the box constantly. He's always got his hands in something, right? Yeah. I mean, he's retired, but he's not retired. Right. You know, what's it like working with Dave? You know, he, he always says, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I just want to learn, you know? And, and I'm the same way. I love to learn, and we learn from each other, and we learn from the kids, you know? And it's just a great atmosphere. It's a lot of fun and, and very intense. And, uh, and the kids enjoy it. I mean, we asked the, the other day, we asked the kids, I, I said, how many of you guys were nervous about practice today? And about three quarters of them raised their hand. And, and Dave's like, why? And they said, because it's hard. We have to, you know, we have to push ourselves just to get through practice. And uh, so it's a special room. I asked Tommy Rollins this question. I'll ask you, you know, it's uh, very rarely do I get to stand in front of a guy who's got so much international experience. You've seen how the Russian system works. It's not anything like this. There's no, they don't do any literal, 
in a singlet, scoreboards, and fans right. wrestling until they're like 13, 14, 15, right? Yeah. What, what, you know, like, was that was ever a thought in your mind? Your kid's 11 now. Yeah. Are you like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to wear him out. I don't want to burn him out. You know, he, uh, I let him do what he wants to do. He's actually playing basketball and wrestling this year. Um, you want to play basketball? I'm like, sure, go ahead and try it out. You know, um, I don't want to interfere with wrestling, but if you're having fun, do it. You know, he plays football, he plays baseball. At this age, it's just it's about having fun. And if they're not enjoying it, it's not worth it to do. Could that foreign system work here? Like, old man Chirella did it with his three boys. Very rarely has anyone been able to, like, keep them out till eighth grade and they go in there. The Chirellas are freaks, yeah. right? It we know that. Oh, yeah. It takes a certain individual to be able to do that. You know, and uh, I'd rather go with the odds and the high percentage. That's what I teach about in wrestling is high percentage things. I'd rather go with that and let them have fun and, and see what they want to do when they get older. All right, your kid's about to wrestle. I don't need to get choked out because you missed this match. You got anything else for me? No, that's it. Thanks for your support. Thanks, B-Dolph.